Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadashi. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, great millstone who rule and teach well in the sense of Shalom to 144,000 and one third. Now, if you haven't watched this video, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a trailer called uh, Civil War. Comes out April 2024. And what's uh, it's a civil war in uh, Babylon, the great America, right? And it shows um, America collapsing in a similar state uh, to this photo you see in the background. You see uh, military vehicles on the streets, you see FEMA camps, you see all that. So this, this, these devils are finna bust a move. They're pretty Addictive programming is coming harder than ever before. You just had a um, How um, Leave the World Behind. You had that movie with Barack and Michelle Obama. And uh, it came out that Barack gave, gave the director some, some tips to make it be more accurate. And then a couple days after that movie releases on Netflix, you have this movie called Civil War, which follows the same... Uh, pretty much the same plot as Leave the World Behind, a civil war breaking out. So these Edomites, these devils, are finna bust a move because they know, they know for a fact that their time is short. How do they know? Because the Israelites are waking up to the fact that they are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So, these Edomites are really going to start ramp ramping up that sword and uh, putting it in people's faces, a.k.a. this predictive programming. And then they're really going to bring that sword, um, IRL, right, in real life, to, 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 to enforce their um, NWO. And really... It's, this is the mass judgment father in particular on the Israelites, man. Because two-thirds of the nation of Israel will be taken out in this coming uh, great tribulation. Let me, let me get a scripture on that. This is um, the book of Matthew 24 and 21. For there, for then... Shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, so the Heavenly Father is going to allow these Edomites to unleash so much hell on this earth, and Heavenly Father himself is directly going to uh, make some works happen, man. Right, newly created creatures, of course, the elect being risen up with spiritual power. It's going to be a lot of things popping off in these coming days, and who knows what twenty twenty four holds, um, for 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 judgment sakes, for judgment, you know, salvation. For all we know, Jacob, not necessarily Jacob's trouble, but another stage of collapse could could very well happen. In, Next year in 2024, we can see a cyber attack. It could be anything, especially with all this predictive programming. It may it may not? Uh, I see I've seen a lot of military personnel saying they don't even believe it's going to be an election year. But speaking of that, a house divided, what a house divided cannot stand. Let's get that. This is uh, the book of Mark. Three and twenty-five, and if a house be divided against itself. That house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against Satan and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. And that's another scripture that, that goes into uh, what King David said, their tongue falls upon themselves. In the book of Psalms, you, you, you devils are t tattletelling on, 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 on yourself. All right? Because, you know, the small hats took a, the, the vast majority of the, of the wealth and glory. Uh, uh, out, of, out of the nation of Edom and these lower level Edomites are starting to feel uh, hurt in, uh, in, all over the world 
in these uh, Edomite countries, aka Western countries, for the most part. I believe all Western countries are Edomite countries. I can't think of a Western country that isn't an Edomite country, right, or, or, or connected to an Edomite authority. Let's get this in the book of Matthew 24, because it, it's going to be a civil war. The Heavenly Father made mention of civil wars. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. What? You got the Russia, the Ukraine. Uh, you got uh, the small hats fighting those, those other heathens in our land. Uh, China looks like China's finna go at it with Taiwan, and, and uh, guy I think it's pronounced Guyana, and I believe Venezuela are uh, at each other's necks. I don't think anything serious popped off, but there there's tears uh, risen tension. Let's go to the book of Second Edgers, fifteenth chapter, because it, it's one hundred percent going to be a civil war. Here in Babylon the Great and all these other uh, countries on the earth. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 16. For there, actually let me let me scroll up, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and sword in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Civil war. And a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. And this, this, this is that, that trailer of 2nd Ezra's 15 chapter speaking. All right. <laughs> and 16. Speaking. The, the, these scriptures, uh, the holy scriptures is not make believe. And the majority of people are going to learn that the hard way. It's only going to be a small remnant, the elect. That's going to be able to escape this great tribulation. You're going to see cities looking like this photo right here. Decimated on fire. Uh, corpses scattered. Just stink. Disease. You may see a, a sentinel. If you know what a sentinel is. It's a, um, it's a robot. If you will. From um, Marvel. The X-Men. And this sentinel robot knows how to find mutants, all right? And I forget the man's name who created the X-Men, uh, Marvel, either or, I forget. But he created the X-Men based off uh, the Civil Rights Movement, right? And uh, Professor X, I think that's Charles Xavier, I think that's his name, the dude in the wheelchair, he represented Martin Luther King. And Magneto represented... Um, Malcolm, Malcolm X, I forget his name, I think his name was Steve something, and he said that's how he created, and the, the Israelites are X-Men, super supernatural powers, and these people on the earth are gonna witness the elect uh, power up, and it's gonna be a scary sight for um, whoever those the elect put their, their eyes on. For destruction, because that means the Heavenly Father wants them destroyed. This is Matthew 10 and uh, 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. So, what is that going into? You're not going to be able to know who to trust in these days. You're not going to be able to trust your parents. The one who, who lays with your bosom, right? Your children. You're not going to know who, who to trust. Because the Heavenly Father is bringing that spirit of division. The Heavenly Father did not come to, to, to put, every, put everybody together all kumbaya. It's bullshit. This is Luke 12, and, uh, Luke 12, 51. And it reads, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. And this photo in the background is, is, is a good example of division. A very good example of division. 
Let's go into that word division right there in the Greek. That Greek word is the Greek word there is D Amaris. It, it, it kind of has America in there. See, that's the spirit. It has. It, let me see if we can hear it on my mic. Strong's G twelve sixty seven. The Ameris Mas. The Ameris Mas. The The Mas, and it has. It kind of has America in there. A M E R, A M E R I. Only missing the C A. See, that's the spirit right there. That the Heavenly Father told me to click on that. A parting. Distribution. Distribution. Disunion. Dissension. Right? To be parted. To be disassembled. Right? And what is this city? It's part is destroyed. Okay? And that's what the Heavenly Father has, has declared that he's going to bring to this earth. Why? Because the earth is exceedingly wicked. The Israelites have been tormented more than what they were supposed to be tormented. All right? And Heavenly Father is not here to uh, play games. This is Mark, uh, Mark 13 and 12. Now the brother shall betray, betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. I believe we read that, but... Hey, read it again. It's going to get real rough in these days. But the Heavenly Father, you see, the Heavenly Father is going to put a new spirit on the elect in these coming days. The elect are not going to have that same type of spirit when these, when these things come about. Because the environment is going to change. See, the environment right now is much different. Right, of course, the hopeful like we're on edge, we're very austere, on point, not being very loose, being tight. But in those days, the Heavenly Father is going to enhance that for the elect. But everybody, in general, everybody's spirit is going to change because their environment is going to change. Besides these, these elites, the people that had these preparations to try to ride out this 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 uh Jacob's trouble so to speak um unscathed but those elites are going to be the first crops of slavery so it doesn't even matter and that's it for this video lord's will is edifying shalom